Part of a long, long course that we are doing in Akban that takes all the mysticism out of doing Kamae and Kujikiri and puts it in the concrete realm. Hand positions and body positions come together. And for us, these are the most important tools. Why? Because as martial artists, we know that if the frame of mind, the inside, the reaction is not bound by a deed, by an action, it will be forgotten in stress. I will say it again because it is so important. Everyone has a plan until he gets punched in the face. But we are martial artists and we should have a plan after we get punched in the face. How do we get to this frame of mind? We bind together, together like this, together like this. We bind together physical actions, breath as a means of mindful awareness, and cognitive action. And this binding together is a seal. It seals in the order I have, the control. So in the face of an anomaly, I have this seal, this mudra. So the kamai is a seal. Okay, and I have a different kamai for every kind of situation that I need to have a kamai for. That means this is one kamai. And Tutanachamon is in another Kamai, okay? And this is another Kamai. It seals in something. It seals in awareness and breathing and body position. The Kamai do not have to be big. They can. They do not have to be big. So this is a Kamae that reminds me that in stressful situations, I am not having a tunnel vision. When I'm standing in Hira, I see my hands. When I see my hands, I do not have tunnel vision. I do something physically, I change my awareness, and I bind together some compact unit of order. If I know the power of regulating emotions and cognitive thought with the body, I don't have to use all the body. I can, but I don't have to. And I can use small things like this. So this is a Kamai. Is this universal? Does this mean all the things to all the people? No. It means something to me. And it means something to me because many times I did like this, so this is a learned seal, a learned behavior. We start with something big and obvious. These are learned seals, learned behaviors, learned mudras. And from these learned seals, learned behaviors, we can go into subtle behavior patterns. Because if I am a businessman and I want to have a certain frame of mind, of course it might be nice to get into the office like this. But I think it will not be accepted understandably, okay, by everybody that this just represents my frame of mind. I need something subtle. This is something subtle. This is something subtle. This also. And it is learned and I do it again and again and again. So when I do at the beginning of the lesson this, it's not a natural behavior. What does this mean? 
here for me, it means I have a special kind of attention. Because most of the time, I'm used to my awareness following the direction of the fingers. The finger points the awareness. So use the finger to have a special kind of awareness. And you do this when you need special kind of awareness. When do we see these kinds of stances in Bujinkan syllabus? In all the kata that I need special kind of awareness. So I do this, but in front of an opponent that attacks me with a weapon, double the danger, special kind of awareness, I will do this. And here in Hanin no Kamai, I want to have a special kind of awareness. I am ready, but it is not the same readiness as this. Understand? This seal, Doko Ichimonji no Kamai, is an important one. It's not for nothing that a lot of people connect this with Kukishin Dan Ryu. Okay? It's a strong seal to do when I am afraid, because it's a seal connected to courage and attack. But what happens if I don't want to rush forward? I want the same thing without rushing forward. Then I change this into Hanin no Kamai. If for many years, every time I apologize, I do this, and I have a lower pulse and a lower blood pressure, then if I have high blood pressure and I do this, it will lower my blood pressure and the corresponding cognitive and emotional factor, factors. So if you would like to, this is the whole essence of what we are doing in Akbar. So if I'm taking out a gun and I'm standing like this, of course it's a useful thing to do. And we integrate it with methodical pyramid. And we build it systematically, because we want people to shoot and aim and, and hit accurately. <laughs> But we remember, this is a kamai. And it binds together correct emotional attitude, correct cognitive processes, and the mnemonym, the reminder, the body position and breathing pattern. <laughs> It's not just know yourself and know. This knowing is doing. Do something to yourself. And then you can understand what happens. And what I do to myself is I control. I control by binding together stance, breathing patterns and awareness and cognitive functions. So if I'm standing in front of a big, big commotion and people want to attack and I will do this, the Kamai is a reset. It resets me back to the place that I have control over myself. I do not have control over a situation. Or maybe I have a little control, but I will have control over myself. I can bind together small movements, body position, breathing patterns, and cognitive action. Usually I will do the cognitive action with numbers. Because I'm a Western man, and I do not want to pray to some God that is not part of my tradition. I respect traditions, but I do not want to do it religiously. I want to do it scientifically. So I give myself a very complex cognitive task, like subtracting 7 from 100, 193, and so on and so forth. If it is too difficult for me at the beginning, I have a simpler cognitive task. Just count. So we count. One, two, three, four. We want to make this mudra or action even stronger. We count. One, two, three, Four. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. So we have a reset now. It's not just a mudra to connect to higher powers, because for me it does not work. But a reset works. If I have to occupy my mind and body in solving a physical Sudoku problem, then it's a reset. And this reset is a reset of control. <laughs> So it's not like I'm standing like this all day long. Maybe it's a possibility, but I don't know a lot about it. I stand like this in the street, and I move into Jumonji no Kamae. Now I have a seal, I have a reminder, okay? I'm just like Wonder Woman or the Black Panther. It's a reminder. Like this, I cross and move into the reminder. So I have one. Two. It's just at the beginning, okay? So this is important as a reminder. And one, two. I did not connect to any higher force. I just did something like every Greek guy did 100 years ago. I take my prayer beads my komboloi, and I do something physical that binds together thoughts, emotions, body, awareness, gaze, and cognitive actions. Okay? So this was just an opening of the door into what we have been doing in Akban for many, many years. We use what we do to regulate not only the body, not only to achieve extreme fitness levels, but to regulate our emotions in chaotic situations. So now you have a reason why we do this, or this, or this. This is a tool, and it's a very advanced, psychological, scientific, Western tool.